Hello everyone and welcome back to the LEGO channel. In today's video we are going to be looking at Sanama 75928 Blue's Helicopter Pursuit it's ages 7 to 12 for some reason so I can't build it. I'm 13 and anyway. this is just weird. Comes with three minifigures in blue, Owen Grady, Ken Wolfley and Pilot. That does not have a name. The box is broken so that's unfortunate but I don't know why it's like this. I found it on in a store so it shouldn't be like this but I don't know. At least I have it in 2021, new. <laughs> For the same price as it came out, so that's lucky enough. We get the helicopter, that quad with this back thing over here, and a case of trapped balloon. And the back, we have the play features shown. Herc that's able to pick up this cage. The cage looking in on blue. Then these darts probably shooting. And helicopter spinning with this knob over here, which is awesome. And this kind of great thing that is able to be put at the back of the helicopter. Okay, just build your own hybrid with the dinosaurs that were able to were able to get at the time. Pretty cool. So let's get right in. Okay, it wasn't too hard to open the set with one hand. Okay, let's build it. Let's see. We can get blue. Bag number two. Bag number one. Bag number three. Tracking book number two, pretty cool looking. Number one as well. And that's it. Yep, okay. So I'll see you, so I'll see you in a second. Okay guys, so I'm building this set right now. Here are the pieces on bag one. And I'm looking at the instructions and here is a sticker. Did I mention there's a sticker? There's no stickers. So now I have to go to Bricklink. If there won't be any, if I won't find them in the instructions, because there's no nothing in the box, nothing in the instructions. I didn't see anything in, stuck in there, so I'll have to order some from Bricklink. I just checked, and the cheapest ones are from Belgium, but I don't have to. Buy, there's no minimum buy. I have to buy these stickers and wait, maybe in even let's say two weeks or week till those stickers arrive. No. Ah! And the worst thing is that, come on, there's a sticker right there, there are some stickers over here, the stickers on the tail, and the stickers on here, on the, the quad. So, Nick, ah, I don't have the stickers, I don't have the stickers, if I'll find them, I'll tell you, but for now, this is all that I have, and there's no stickers. I am the dumbest person alive, like literally I'm just going through the pages. On page number 22, I'm opening up, and here are the stickers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the set is done and built. Before I show you the figs and the and everything else, I just want to say, actually, pretty big amount of spare pieces here, including a tire that I haven't seen before. I mean, the spare pieces. So that's pretty interesting. Also, the stickers, there are two extra like, ones. There's no place for them to go. Maybe over here on the helicopter, but I'm not sure. I didn't see anything. Even now looking at the box, I cannot see them. And I just do not know where they should go. So if someone knows where they should go, please tell me. I'm confused. And then blue. Of course, is much bigger than Owen, so it's kind of sad. Probably in the movie, she was like, kind of let's think, wait, this kind of height. But it's okay, I get it. Why? It should be the size. So enough of that. Let's get into the figures. Okay, so first up is Owen Grady. He has his crossbow that looks kind of like it's meant to shoot rocks. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe this is not a crossbow. I'm not too sure about that. 
I don't even know why would he be shooting from a crossbow, but think, okay, maybe, no, no, I don't know. We can see he has a bag and the bag so you can, for example, take a piece of meat and put it in that bag. Then his face is the generic one that we get. And like always, the second more angry and ready to go face. And at the front, we can see Owen with his jacket and those pockets that always look good. There's a little bit of printing on the legs and at the back. Oh, it's going to be hard to take this off. There's a bit of printing. Next up, we have Ken Worthley. I think I was pronouncing the first time it wrong. Never mind about his name. He has this. I think this is meant to be a dart right, dart, dart, well, dart rifle. Uh, that's what it's called. But it's obviously a star shooter, so that's 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 just like yeah. And actually, I'll just bring you out. Uh, it's a kind of metallic, dark bluish grey color, something like that. Pretty cool looking, but still. Then, looking at the figure itself, he's covering a probably dinosaur tooth, as he likes to collect them. His face looks pretty nice. Well, the last mini bingo of the set is Pilot. <laughs> Very simple name. He has a lot of printing and details on his torso, as you can see. Very cool looking, like the pockets, that belt. Very nice. He has leg printing. Pretty generic. Nothing too special. His helmet has goggles that can go down and obviously back up. At the back, more of that very cool looking printing. And I really like the expression. Now, here we have blue. This is not a figure, but uh, it kind of is. This is shown down with the minifigures on the box, so <laughs> you can kind of say, but not really. It's one of the best blues that we've got. A really cool design. I really like it. The dark tan really goes well with the olive green. She has these like great eyes, literally. This is like yellow with the black in the middle and orange around it. Looks great. Opening her mouth, you can see the white teeth, and it actually goes pretty far. The back of the tail is rubber, so you won't stab yourself. And full studs on top, so you can. I'm taking the closest mini finger, but pilot, for instance, on her. Very cool. You always can put like even a building if you somehow do it. But you can do it. Very cool printing around her over here. And it's continued all around the body the same and on the legs. There are her claws over here. Really cool looking. And overall a great dinosaur. Okay, so here we have the quad bike thing. I'm not an expert at vehicles at all. Like with the whole helicopter, expect me to say like words that don't shouldn't be there. Like I, I even talking right now that don't make any sense. Anyway, just detaching this part. It's a pretty generic quad bike. I think we got a very similar one in 2012 that Forest Police Station. It's basically exactly the same. And now looking at it without this this part. I don't see any difference except that there's a sticker, maybe this bolt over here, in the, in the front. Okay, that's actually a lot. <laughs> but anyway, it's a very cool build. I really enjoyed building it when I wasn't frustrated when I couldn't find the stickers or pieces. But apart from that, it's a very cool sticker. Just oh, like always, you have to be careful putting them on. I kind of failed and most of the stickers, but I can live with it. I mean, I'm, yeah, <laughs> there's lights at the front and over here. You can obviously place me a finger over here like that. Obviously sitting down, but okay, I'll do it. So there we go. And off he goes. And at the back, I really like this part of the vehicle. You get a spare tire. Don't usually see that. Oh, at least I don't. <laughs> Obviously, on the box it shows the egg, but I put the egg somewhere else. Let's just put the crossbow over here, <laughs> so you can put in the, anything basically on the back, and even a figure because there are four studs, so two people can sit in here. 
pretty cool build and you can attach it and detach it whenever you want you can also attach this to other vehicles the other minor build kind of smaller build no not really small it's big <laughs> is this trap or where wait where's that piece of meat where did i put it uh i where did i put it i lost it oh where it wait wait here it is okay um, okay so we have this trap to catch blue any other dinosaur, but in this set, it shows blue. So, you basically, all you have to do is put <laughs> this piece of meat and then play along that she smells it and goes inside. And when she does, uh, just, yep, you just lock it up like this. And there she is. Locked up in the trap. But taking a look at it, it's actually a pretty cool design. Except for this very like green colored, not tapey, yeah, something. Like <laughs> and and this piece over here, so you can pick it up and take it away. We'll look at that just in a moment. And obviously, the last build of the set is the helicopter itself. It's a very cool build. It's kind of smaller than I thought, but it's big anyway. Let's start with the propeller. At the bottom, there's this knob piece, and as you already can see, when you turn it, the propeller goes with it, which is really cool, because always, when you play with it, you have to do that. I mean, it's not really a bad thing that you just have to spin it, but it's a very cool thing that they have included that. Here we have oh, these, this stud shooter over here. It actually looks pretty cool. It doesn't look as bad as on other sets. Here it actually looks pretty good. I really like it. So all you have to do, if you don't really like it, is take it off like that and you don't have it. On the other side, we have this big old lights and they piece fell off. Okay, very cool that you, they added this. So if it's flying in the dark, just place this piece on. And as on the other side, you can take it off and make which size about it really, then this would be like that, and you can do like that. Go slows like this, but I'd rather not. So where did I put that pilot minifigure? Oh, I cannot find it as well. Oh my days, I'm losing everything over here. So you can put a minifigure on this chair, which I really like that you have included that. That is a better thing than just placing it or shoving it inside. And the same you can do on the other side. And also, you can put the minifigure like this. So you can be looking out for the dinosaurs. Yeah, I think this is a registration number or something like that. JW16N15. And the exact same sticker is on the other side. And looking at the copter, we have the Jurassic World logo on it. And place for the pilot to sit. Here we'll take Kim Wealthy. Wealthy. Yeah, I'm going to say Wealthy. And there we go. There he is sitting inside. And here we have a small propeller thingy in the back and tail. A very cool sticker, but I obviously put it so it looks very wonky. And here we have the second sticker, but this time I put it nicely and <laughs> neatly. At the back of the helicopter, we can see there is the hook that you can lower down and then catch the gauge like this, pick it up, catch it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, catch it, pick it up, more like pick it up than catch it. But yeah, and then you can fly off. Really cool. I'm going to use this play feature a lot. And at the back, you have this box container thing <laughs> where is the dart rifle on the side so you can put one over here and one over here, but it doesn't have to be there. It can be this thingy, but this thing should go like that. Over here, I put the egg, <laughs> and I mean, it does show on the box, not in the box, but in the instructions that you should put it inside of there. So I put it in and looking more at the helicopter stop, you can see there's a lot of these ancient kind of parts I really enjoyed building that because it was kind of easy and fast to build. I really like the details for this kind of amount of space. 
it does show a lot of good play features and at the bottom just kind of forgot to mention but it isn't so important you've got these wheels well that's not something incredible just landing you can ride doesn't have to be a helicopter can be a car <laughs> okay that was pretty weird to say but i think that is basically it for the helicopter except for uh, there's this white kind of i mean white yellow rounded tire tire why do i keep on saying tile plate over here which is kind of outstanding but you can always just swap it with this dark blue gray plate it's not a problem you just take this part off and then swap it that's all you have to do if you have it and we've got these kind of ventilation stickers something like that on the side and it kind of lights over here looks pretty cool and this piece over here if you can kind of see that i don't really know what's that meant to be is that meant to be like a windows or something it looks kind of weird and it's a very weird color for sure so that was it for today's video i hope you all enjoyed have a great day and if you see this set on the shelf or for a good price and you are a Jurassic World fan, I would buy it if I would. I would even buy a second one. But that would be kind of mean of like someone that really wants this set and does not have it. So I will probably stick with this one <laughs> for now. But to the next one. Bye.